What's up everyone? This is Volgris here, and welcome to week 4 of Tip Tuesday. This Tip Tuesday we're going to take a look at some animation presets, which is that animation button on the top that you may or may not have known what it does. Well, today you're going to learn. So this button does a lot of different things, but today we're only going to be working with animation presets. So you can animate almost anything in After Effects, but today we're going to be working mostly with text, because it's really easy and it'll start you guys off with using animation presets. Now if you're watching my live stream, uh, over the summer, you know that I accidentally deleted my animation presets, but I uh, reinstalled them, and now I have all the animation presets that you guys should have. Keep in mind, I am using Adobe After Effects CS4, so these will vary depending on the version you have. So the first thing you want to do is you want to use your text tool, and you want to type something. Of course, I'm going to type in Vulgars, because that's my YouTube channel. In case you're wondering, I'm using the font Devil Breeze, and you can just Google it, and you should find a download for it. So just find out which way looks best, which font. Um, certain fonts, if you make letters be capitalized, the orientation of the letter will be slightly different than if it was lowercase. So, for example, this is an uppercase V, and this is a lowercase V. So just type in whichever which way you find to look the best. Like so. And now what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you click on your layer, go to Animation, click on Apply Animation Preset. Now, depending on what you have right now, you should have one of a couple things. Pretty much, you want to click on this little box right here, depending on if you're on a PC or Mac. Pretty much, you want to go to your presets directory uh, under Adobe After Effects CS4. And under text, for the most part, you can actually use a couple of these. You don't have to just use text, but I find for text, of course, text works the best. Uh, these are your Twitch presets. Pretty much, these are all the uh, presets for the plugins you have. But text should automatically come with After Effects, so just click on this and you're going to have a bunch of these. Now, Animate In is, of course, text transitioning from not being on the screen to being on the screen. Animate Out is when you have text on the screen and you want to be off the screen, and so on and so forth. You can just pick which one you'd like. I'm going to do Animate In because it's pretty basic, but like I said, experiment with these. This is a quick tutorial, quick tip. Like I said, I, I generally tend to find that the animation presets is highly underused, and occasionally it's used in intros, but you can use this for a lot more than just intros. So um, go to Animate In, or whatever other category you like, and you can just pick these. Now, I almost wish you could actually preview these before you actually apply them, but um, just find one that works for you. Maybe have like a text document of just all the ones that you think are good, because uh, these kind of give you a brief description of what they do. Like, for example, uh, Center Spiral. Let me just click on this, and now when I play the clip, it does a little Center Spiral effect, which is pretty cool. But I don't really like it that much, so I'm going to go back to animation, apply animation presets, and find one that I think is good. Like, this is typewriter, and this is actually commonly used. You might notice that looks familiar. Well, this is it. So uh, let me go find a couple more, and I will uh, show you guys the finished product. Okay, so I wasn't going to include this part in the video, but I figured you guys wanted how to do it anyway, so I may as well just show you. If you go under the category mechanical, and then you go under Doppler, this is the animation preset you get. And right off the bat, it's not really the best animation preset, but I was just thinking of some other cool things I can add to this to make it look that much better. And what I'm going to add is actually a little audio spectrum, which if you guys know what that is, it's a pretty cool little effect. gives you some nice audio waves. And uh, to do that, all you have to do is import a song. It can be any song. Okay, so I picked this song, Act Like You Know by Nero, which you guys should already know because it's an awesome song. Click on the down arrow on the clip, down arrow on audio, and down arrow on waveform. Now, once you have that, just zoom out a little bit and find a part where there's a lot of waves in the waveform. Alright, so once you've clipped your audio in such a way that you have a decent amount of waves in the waveform, you want to make sure that you either render After Effects without audio, or you want to make sure that when you put it into Sony Vegas or Final Cut, that you disable the audio there, because otherwise you're going to hear a random song, in my case, act like you know, in the middle of your montage. and. Uh, that's not always what you want. So once you have that, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new solid. Okay, or you can use the one you already have. I'm just going to call this Spectrum. Okay, put this right under your text layer and change the blending mode to be Add. Um, you can mess up the blending modes depending on the color that you're using. Okay, now you're going to go to Effect, Generate, and you have two options. You have Audio Spectrum and Audio Waveform. Spectrum looks like little dots, if you can see right here which you might want this, although I just realized that in my case I'm probably going to want waveform, but spectrum works just as good, it just works a little bit differently. Um, but for this one I'm going to use waveform, so just go to generate audio waveform, and make sure you drag these points out, so 
start point, move this towards the end, and end point. Same deal. It might actually be in your best interest if you move the points actually farther than the actual composition is, because sometimes it works better that way. Change the color to be like a greenish color. So I'll change this color to be that, and this color to be this. And you can make this be a red, any type of color you like. Um, now move this whole entire layer up. That way you have it about centered. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be wherever you like. But I think it would look best if you have this layer centered. So now you have this. Okay. Uh, now what you're going to do is you're going to go to audio layer and you're going to put the audio layer on Nero or whatever other song you're using and that's what I'm using. So now I have that. I am going to just render this layer out and now you have the waveform. So that's how you do it. Looks pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's Tip Tuesday. I apologize for it not being on a Tuesday. Next week it'll be on a Tuesday and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope this helped you out and if it did please leave a like and a favorite. Alright, thanks for watching.